That's it. This is the creative report. Uh, maybe it's probably best to talk about like just before, because I think I've been my most creative in the last two years, two, three years since starting the PhD. So that's probably the best. The, the, the thing that's closest to me now, although the CD albums, I did the CD albums, but uh, they weren't the best and I didn't really have a goal for them apart from to do them and to finish them. Um, and yeah, they're pretty obscure. So um, yeah, let's... Uh, so what have you decided to do after, instead of these CD albums? And these, it sounds like you weren't happy with the outcomes of these CD well, albums. Well, no, it wasn't that. With the CD albums, I really enjoyed doing them. Um, I It was something that I started doing um, at college and then at undergraduate and then I kind of uh, it all kind of dried up so the reason I don't really do that very much now is because I'm very busy now with research but also um, I, I kind of ran dry of, of kind of wanting to do it it wasn't maybe Maybe it was inspiration. I don't. I don't think I can't do it anymore. I, I. I just lost interest in it for a bit. But I want to go back to it when I'm done with the research. Is is that because you would say that your creative practice requires some sort of goal? Like, do do you create with a goal in mind, or do you just create for the purpose of creating? For the research, it's certainly better to have a goal in mind, at least on the the level of the work. Um, sometimes the wider goal isn't known until I've done that like done a work and then maybe done a bit of development and tried to figure out further what it is I'm looking at in particular um, though with the, the CD album stuff because it was kind of pop electronic um, there wasn't really a specific goal at the end other than to put together a collection of songs um, and that was just because I wanted to do it really um, just because I felt like it so the goal is, once you get started on that, the goal is to finish it. Um, though, again, no wider goal. I think I, when I get back into it after the research, I, have, I feel like there's some things that I've learned in the last couple of years that I want to apply and I want to try and actually get better. So that would be the, the goal. I want to get better production. So that's the goal. So in terms of, uh, you're alluding to a lot of kind of research research stuff could you talk about the research stuff you're doing and like how the kind of your creative practice practice is is informing that or involved in that or is there a creative part to your research at the moment um most of my research is creative um and i've done a lot of creative stuff and now i'm having to look more at the academic side uh, documenting it all um the creative stuff now i think comes more from um from, I, I guess I kind of want to, wanted to know what I was doing, what I was thinking, what kinds of things were interesting me, and I never really got to the nub of that with the, the CD pop stuff. Um, and it's been very, um, I've let it flow. I haven't kind of thought, okay, this specific thing, I'm going to look at that in great detail. More, I've decided that these are the kinds of pieces that I wanted to make and I've gone ahead and made those and then looked back and tried to decide how they fit together um, and what are the important parts for me, why they're important to me. Um, they might not be important to everybody, the, these pieces, but they're kind of important to me. Could you maybe uh, mention more specifically something you've done in the recent last couple of six months, nine months or something that illustrates some of those kind of ideas, one of your more recent installation works or? Well I started with, um, I started the research with the idea of creating a kind of fluid uh, um, distributable work, so a work that you could download onto say an iPod or an iPhone or something like that and you, you could play it and every time um, it played there'd be some difference in the playback and I'm actually now working on that idea particularly, specifically, um, and developing kind of parts of that. But on my way there, I didn't want to jump straight to it. On my way there, I've actually been looking more at uh, 
the nature of the, the fixity of of the fixed media of uh, like records, LPs, but also um, uh, digital files that would contain music. Um, and I haven't stayed within the realm of music with this research either. I've also done video pieces and uh, kind of media installations. I've made a nice little hardware pop piece, which is, uh, it's got a, a radio built in. Um, and it's probably about the size of a, a decent book. Um, and you press a button and it plays a pop tune and mixes some radio with it through, through hardware. Um, that's called the Chaos Engine. And uh, I was really happy with that, although it's, it's not great, but it's, uh, it was a very interesting thing. So that's kind of a specific outcome. Um, but it's really got me, doing the research has really got my mind working, but it's also made me realise that, you know, I kind of, I, I've been reading, certainly more in the pop world, you kind of start reading about stuff and you realise that things don't have to have a meaning. They don't have to have a really specific meaning for people to get. If people enjoy listening to my music, then that's good enough. And I think that's why I want to then go back to doing pop stuff because I feel like I've let myself, um, I've kind of released that kind of intellectual side that I wanted to explore and I'm happy now to go back and create music that people will actually want to listen to. So in, <laughs> so, so in, in terms of, uh, in terms of creativity in, in the wider kind of sphere, um, is is it is it for you all about satisfying other people? Is that do you, do you think that's is that the main motivator? You just want people to be able to to consume and enjoy the material you're creating. Is that, um, or, or do you think creativity has a greater role than that, or is that the role it should have? It's... Well, that's that's difficult. I think it certainly depends on the kinds of people. Uh, there'll be some people who are very interested in intellectual or academic aims and maybe that those works are not as accessible to people. Uh, and then there are those who really do enjoy kind of um, making art or music or whatever that they want other people to experience and enjoy. And I think I'm heading back towards the latter. I think that a, a big part of I mean, I enjoy creating, which is why I do it. I've done it for for years and years. Um, and it's like the one thing I feel like I'm really good at. Um, and even though it would be nice to not have to worry about it, there is also the side that says, if someone, if people are enjoying this, then that's all the better, because it kind of makes you feel like you're accepted within, it's like people accepting what you do. Um, and if people don't accept it and you don't get any acceptance, I think that would be quite uh, quite horrible. I think that would be really depressing. Um, so, yeah, I think for me personally, creativity, creating things is very much a, a I'm not sure if it's a kind of communication or a kind of expression, um, but it's it's something that I, I think I do want to make links with people and I want people to be able to enjoy what I do um, just just by listening to it and not having to do all this kind of research and stuff. Cool. Well, if finally, could you, um, if, if people want to find out a little bit more about what you're currently up to, what you're involved in, could, is there a website they can go check out? Uh, well? Yeah, my personal website, which is adamyanch.co.uk. That's A-D-A-M-J-A-N-S-C-H. .co.uk um, and that from there there's links links off to my research um, I've got a Vimeo page you can add me on Twitter uh, YouTube um, you know these kinds of places and I, I put kind of recent tunes up on SoundCloud as well so uh, yeah you know just go there I'm the, I'm there cool Thank I'm you also I'm also here right now right here but I'm also somewhere else because when you're watching this, uh, I'll be somewhere else. I don't stay here. Um, just thought I'd let you know that. Thank you, Adam. <laughs>